Hi and welcome to Fresh Team. In this video, we're taking a look at the entire time off management. Now we're going to start off with a employee's time off dashboard, wherein they can get to see the time off trend, the historical time off requests, and there's also an approval condition on Fresh Team, wherein your reporting manager or the HR partner can approve LE requests. There's also the holiday calendar that's tied to your leave policy if you have a holiday coming up. So employees can apply for leave request either from the Fresh Team web application or also on the mobile application as well. So you just select the dates, the time of types, all of which is again customizable by the admin user and also an option to notify your team members or also your group members as well. Now there's also an integration with Google Calendar and Outlook Calendar wherein you can mark yourself out of office for the entire day or your time off period and automatically also get to decline events that schedule during your time off period. So before setting up your leave policy, set up your preferences on the different time off types that's going on in your leave policy. Also the holiday calendar based on your regions. So Fresh Team has uh, templates for various regions that you can select from here. And if the holidays are not available from this list, you can also get to add a custom holiday. There's also the work week schedule. So if that's a regular Monday through Friday that you can customize in here and also options to mark half daily requests as well. And once you've set this up, you can go about creating the leave policy. So what are the different time of types that go into your leave policy? So include them in here with the available balance. Also, it's not necessary that all leave types should be associated with a balance. You can also map it for an unlimited balance just to create a log of your leave requests. map the leave policy to respective holiday calendar and the work week schedule and then set up your policy rules. So your start date, which would mean the leave year that you follow within the organization, if, if it's based on the regular year that is January to December, or is it based on your financial year, for example. Now on your accrual rules, how would the leave balance get associated? So if you choose this to be an annual frequency, all leaves would be associated at the start of the leave year and accordingly monthly and quarterly based on respective proportions. There's also conditions for balance carryover. So from one leave year to the next, if you do want the leave balance to be carried over and how much of that can be carried over as well. There's also a proration required condition. So the new hire who walks in today should not get all of the annual leave balances. In fact, it should be prorated based on the remaining number of days of the year. And that's calculated automatically by you simply enabling the proration required condition on Fresh Team. Other options would include unpaid time off request. If you, if you do want the leave balance to overflow, which would mean going to negative, and then you could feed it to the payroll system at your end to adjust the unpaid time of leave. There's also attachments that you can mandate. For example, sick leaves that's beyond three of, you could mandate the doctor's note to be attached by the employee. The next part is, would be associating this leave policy that we created to specific teams within Fresh Team or custom employee groups, which would mean employees based out of a particular location, following a particular shift, and a particular time off type as well. Now that's everything about time off on Fresh Team.